and he's got that passing move done. Look to the outside of Zoe Yuck. That is a big, bold run there from Kyle Bogorski in the black ads. That's building machine. Stevie Smith, though, not letting him get away with it. She is in that hunt. Those three cars drop away a little bit. Back to Taylor Jetson. And remember, Taylor was on the outside, well back in the pack. So she's had a great run. Oh, Kyle Bogorski goes way out wide. Keep it off the concrete, young man, and does so. I did talk to you during the week, I said it's all about staying clean, Kyle. <laughs> Don't draw the wall on, because the wall will win. He wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Fast so far as Shani Farrell. She's coming back in position number six, I think it is. Yep, six. Oh, Stevie Smith and Kyle Bogorski, some contact there. See how the... Where? View that one. Zoe Clark, though, our Victorian visitor, doing it. Pretty easy, but uh, um, certainly keeping it clean and uh, you know, uh, cleanliness is next to godliness, as they say, and we're used to. So it's like you're about to go. We'll, we'll have to talk to you straight at the end of this one. Because, uh, one laps to go in this one, and so far she had a handy break before, doesn't have it now. Stevie Smith back in position, and Kyle Bogorski has been sent to the rear of the field. Did wonder if that would happen. He's now going to want to work with you. I'll tell you who he is trying to make hay, though. Young Shannon Farrell, the green third and five car, is up in position five and challenging uh, Callum Spencer, who's also made very good progress in this heat. He started well back in the pack, and he's right up there in fourth position at home now. Behind Tyler Jetson, the yellow number seven machine, so he's third and up in front of her, Stevie Smith, who's trying to battle that with so young. So it's girls first, second, third, and then Callum Spencer. First of the boys, then uh, two more girls. Yeah. But the boys are doing a little bit tough here. They certainly are. Kyle Bogorski trying to thread his way through the traffic. He's going to need another course and then running. Towers laps with the two laps remaining. Just going past the flag stand. Zoe Young. Nice smooth driving style there from Young Zoe. From the first job. Taylor Jensen, quickest competitor on the track. She's back there in third and challenging on the next season. Mike Side Powerhouse in the Chas Kelly Transport Machine, currently running second. Keep an eye on Shani Farrell. She's looking a long way around the outside of Callum Spencer. White flag is outside him, won the track. Yeah, one to go. So Young's just managed to open up a bit of a gap, so give her some uh, breathing space as they work down into the wild side. Oh! Stevie Smith up and over! Big barrel roll! That's massive. And still up to the side. Yeah, that's large. Dynamic fire protection through. Very bad. Race favourite, Shane Farrell on the field. He has worked his way up well. That's out of this one. We are set for a restart. Zoe Young, Gallup Spencer, Taylor Finfany. And back to Kyle Bogorski. Remember, Kyle Bogorski was sent to the rear. Earlier in the stretch, Taylor Jensen now set the rear for that one. Our leader goes, Zoe Young. Come round with the white flag, Gallum Spencer. Spencer looking to try and get a run coming off turn four in the Boss Constructions machine. Didn't quite have enough momentum. Now past the top sheet, metal canteen out of turn two. Zoe Young, folks, open up about a two car length gap. Keep an eye back because Taylor Bimini coming under a fair bit of pressure there from Kyle Bogorski. This is the way they're going to finish. Zoe Young's going to take the win. Callum Spence will take second. Taylor Bimini, great drive there from Taylor to come home in third ahead. Kyle Bogorski, after he was sent to the rear. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Well, what's the pause for, guys? 49 of them over the years. Tasmania is one in the corner. You know where number 50 is going to be, don't you? Yeah, but right here. <laughs> so, green flag being prepared. The cunts are just going past the pit gate now for those at home. Anna Kelman and Gary McKirch keep an eye on the 33 off the outside. Gets away nice. He makes a good start. Gary McKirch heads straight to the top. Keep an eye on the 23. Of Braden Kane trying to make his way forward as well. He was really good last time out. Carl was really smart actually. 23 machine. Challenging Hannah Cole in second place. And it's Abby Smith in 13. She's doing a good job as well. Back to Will Lockwood. The Black Ass Astro in 22. 65. That's, uh, that's been all smart and done too. Yeah, Brandon Austin looks good. Austin looks good. Really impressive.
<laughs> he wants his boat to be best position. She has not made it out to any user, is he? But look at Kiara Curtis, she has bolted. She has gone like last week's pay. She's 1.8 seconds up the road last lap. She's great taking it out for 3.4 seconds. Oh, basically 1.6 seconds faster. She's rolled out of 17, 7, 6, 8 laps off. That is quick. But very tidy in the junior. Look at Abby Smith round the outside of oh, Brayden Kane. Look at the outside, Abby Smith. Hang on to it. Takes out a couple of cones on the infield. Went on her own. Here <laughs> Byrus. They started running. I'm like the angry man. He just stands his ground and growl. Great to see Stevie Smith out of the hambo. He's on the infield watching. Keeping on second place, still Brayden Kane, Hannah Coleman in third. With Brandon Austin looking the way through, then we go back to Hannah Burford, another driver having her last of his uh, last state title in junior stats. Well, potentially the last event, because uh, we may not race again this week, depending on decisions from governments, etc., over the next few weeks. We're working lap number six, Kiara Kircher completes that one now. She has a very handy lead back to Braden Kane, 2.2 seconds. We've lost the 20 car of Braden Russell, that's gone to the field. very good this season. She's coming on board, another driver who's leaving the division this year, but it is Czech Atlantic time. No white bags on, sorry, my mistake. One to go, Kiara Kircher, she leads by second. So, uh, Ryan Kane's done a good job. He's that down. The race leader is up behind Abby Smith now. Almost a lap down after early indiscretion. It is now checking back time. And the wind does go to Kiara Kircher in the 33 machine for second. And a very good drive to Brian Kane in 23. Brandon Austin. The rebrand in 65. Palatine in third. And Hannah Burton, who's been a bit of revelation in the world of new stars. And a Coleman rounds out in top five, and then it's Billy Waters, Shanae Hampton, Will Lockwood going to end up in there amongst the yeah, five yeah. vehicles. But you're right, yes, yeah, Stephen Smith. Lee Dickinson, Steph Howard, rear wheel drive cars starting on the outside. Around a very slow pace. It's the way of junior stand racing these days. Yeah, oh, three wide at the line, almost four wide. Wow. Now, Lockie Robbins. Grabs that lead. Keep an eye back in the pack. They are three wide. Wow. Elbows are out early for the junior sedan. And two rear wheel drive cars. Step out. 24 cars just went over. Second one in two or three weeks, perhaps. Kelly Riley and Mackenzie Williams gets the best of it. She will lead the field into turn number one. And oh, I guess she gets tagged and will go around that. We realize that again. Green 14. So we're set to go. The green flag is ready. We're entering the pit turn. It's time to go again. This is the third edition of the number four. And we're green. And they're almost four or five as they enter the front straight. Now, Polkar and the outside road got into turn number one side by side. Clark goes through in the ninth car. Dickinson works his way through as well. And he's got Steph Howard next to him. So the two rear drive right cars. Side by side, exiting turn number four. Oh, contact! Three wide, a three to two doesn't go. And uh, Carly Riley finds herself on the wrong side of that. She goes back to four. Shark Farrell starting to make her way forward now in the 35. She wants to lose this action, but Clark, Xavier Clark has jumped away to a handy break. Step out a second. Then it's Dickinson. Back to Shark and Farrell. Carly Riley. Robbins is there. Also, uh, Zoe Young yeah, as well. Yeah, doing a good job here at Lucy Dickinson on the inside of Steph Howard. 
gets that passing move nice and clean. Shani Farrell, the spectator at the moment, behind those two. Now she's trying to put the challenge on Steph. Go back to Carly O'Reilly. Robbins and Young. He's running that first two, not finding it so easy in this one. Big four. Now leader, JJ Clark has opened up a handy, almost a full second gap back to Lucas Dickinson. The yellow and black machine. Yeah, ex uh, Jacob Jensen car, so we know it's got a good pedigree at 21. Steph Howard is third, Charlie Farrell with a great three car strap. Rocky Robbins, Carly O'Reilly, Zoe Young on the inside there, trying to get past, does so now, moves up the spot, still bumping into fifth. Robbins back to sixth, Carly O'Reilly's next, then McCarty O'Reilly, Kenzie Williams. And then back to Kate Pearce in 71. Xavier Clark leading the way. So we're young now, the fastest 17.990. And the white flag will go out this time. So one travel for Xavier Clark. Cross the line, he goes. The gap back to second is 1.4 seconds, so he's pretty well clear. And a similar gap back to third by Steph Howard. So the rear-wheel driver's doing a good job here tonight, second and third in this one. Yeah, they're keeping the rear-wheel drive alive, aren't they? Ah, uh, and the heat wing does go to Xavier Clark. Lucas Dickinson in for second. Steph Howard, third. Then Shane Farrell. So Young was fifth. Then Paul Robbins. Charlie Robbins is in the DNF to Alex McMillan, who was upside down earlier in that one. Less than I didn't know I was done.